Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'll cover two exciting new components that we added to Framer. The carousel component and the ticker component. Both unlock entirely new use cases when it comes to designing interactive websites. And we're very excited to share these with you. Both of these components can be found in the insert menu. Let's start by taking a look at the ticker component. I can simply drag and drop it onto the canvas and I'll make sure it spans the entire width of my page and that it's vertically centered within. The ticker component is optimized for creating these infinitely looping animations. Here in the property panel, you can see that it's highly customizable. It works in any direction and it even adds some fun new interactions like the ability to slow it down on hover. Now let's populate our ticker. I can click and drag from the little slot connector here and onto any layer or component that I have on my canvas. Now, as you might've already noticed, the ticker automatically handles the duplication for you. It figures out the optimal amount of duplication to create the best performing infinite loops. Now with our posters connected, let's give this a little preview. So we can see that the animation is already working and it's infinitely looping our content. Very nice. I have connected these to a very simple cover component that has a hover state where the image is dimmed and the title of the movie is shown. Now going back to the ticker component, notice how the hover property is set to 0.5x by default. And this is a factor that is relative to the speed. And it means that it will slow down the animation of your ticker or the speed of your ticker by half in this case. So let's give this a preview. And as we hover, notice how the entire ticker slows down and we get a nice little hover on our movie posters. The possible combinations here are virtually endless. You could also pause the entire ticker on hover and you can capture any interaction you would like within your own smart components. The component itself is also very customizable. Here we can disable the fading that happens for you near the edges. And there are a bunch more properties for you to play with. To illustrate how easy it is to iterate with this component, I have set up a second example with a bunch of vertical tickers. Each one of these is connected to four unique movie posters. And if we give this a preview, you can see that we can play with the timing and the hover to create quite a fun effect here. Now, another fun detail is that with these fades here, we actually mask your content, meaning it will work on any background color. This makes it super easy to iterate on your designs, just like we did here where we converted our page to dark mode. Now, that was a quick look at the ticker component now available in the insert menu. Now let's move on to the carousel component. This component allows you to create scrollable areas either horizontally or vertically, optionally with scroll snapping and arrow controls as well. Here I'm largely creating the same setup using the carousel component, making sure it's edge to edge and vertically centered. And then I'm connecting it to the cards just like we did with the ticker. This component is also highly customizable and they share a lot of the same styling options. And both also allow you to customize the order of the connected content. The carousel component allows us to render these optional arrow controls that are highly customizable. I can change the background color or I could upload my own arrow images here. Our default ones are SVGs, so they will scale up nicely to any size. So I'll make them a little bit bigger and I'll also tweak the padding values. And you can preview these changes directly on the canvas. We could also hide the scroll bar and customize the fading effect just like we did on the ticker. Now this is looking pretty good, so let's give this a preview. We can use the arrow controls to navigate our carousel. And notice how when I reach either the end or the start here, the fading and the arrows themselves animate out of view. 
We do this for you by default and even this transition can be customized. And just like that, we've created a fully functional carousel. You could also use this component to create something like a full screen slideshow. Just like with the ticker component, we have the ability to define the sizing options. So I can set the width and height to either auto or stretch respectively. And maybe here we want to tweak the opacity of our mask here. So we can make the fade a bit less intense. And then we can give this a preview to see our full screen slideshow in effect. And I can use either the arrow keys or my trackpad to navigate around the carousel. And this will also work on mobile devices. And you also get control over the snapping behavior. And that's pretty much it for this video. We're super excited to share these components with you and we can't wait to see what you will end up creating. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.